Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing um, a Sephora haul and um, just other brands of makeup like MAC and e.l.f. and just other brands. So um, yeah. So first of all I got the Tarte foundation. I've never tried Tarte actually, so but I heard really, really, really good reviews on it from like Manny MUA and I can't remember who else, but like loads of YouTubers. And I think it is the newest foundation. It is called Rainforest of the Sea. It comes in a little blue container like this in packaging. And it is sunscreen on it, so if you're in America, like where I am at the minute, this would be suitable for you. Because if you actually live where I live, in Northern Ireland, then you don't really need sunscreen. But I got the colour light, medium beige. Oh my god, focus. I won't even focus because of the sunlight, but it just comes in a package like this. And it looks like this. I have worn it two or three times and it has actually really, really good. Come off a little bit down there, like, but that's very common in foundations. And some people don't find that with their foundation, so it's like this and it's like this. If you press this little button up here, it like gathers the foundation. And you can press it again and like empty it. It smells nice. <laughs> it is a really good foundation and I would advise it to anyone who just like a really nice glowing foundation. So I think in total this was $39 plus tax on that so it was like 40 something dollars. Which is actually a really good price, plus the bottle is quite big, so it all works out. What else I got was the Marc Jacobs Foundation. I have also heard really, really good reviews about this from Jamie Genevieve, am I saying that right? <laughs> also, because like, she's like my favourite makeup artist, she is amazing. If you don't follow her, you should go find her. So, is Marc Jacobs. Remarkable, get it. It is a full coverage foundation, and I mean, it means it. It means it. I mean, literally, like, I've always wanted full coverage. I've always layered and layered and layered foundations on top of each other. Or it does look cakey, but see this? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You literally need three, four drops. And you just work that sponge baby or that brush or whatever and you get the fucking full coverage you want so yeah basically right the story of this I got this in Sephora as well the story of this is that well I went in to buy these and I couldn't find my exact color so I was just like okay I need help and I got color marked and they actually gave me wee samples which I shall show you came in little containers like this they give me these wee retainers so if you aren't sure what color you are or if you're not sure if you like, want to try a product or buy it or whatever ask for a little sample of it I think you can get three of each department so like you can get three samples of whatever makeup three samples of perfume three samples of skincare it's really good so but no I took them home and they worked down like the in like a wee bag they put in what I was and well that all went tits up because I thought I would remember buying and I went back to a different Sephora and I bought the wrong foundation in both Marc Jacobs and Tarte so yeah I had to go back and thank god I had the receipts so yeah and I got the right colours and this was the last beige medium 34 that was there so I was very lucky to get it oh my god I haven't even opened it yet look here we go right I'm just gonna open it from the bottom 
to show you guys what it looks like. But I'm being deadly serious, like it's it's such a nice foundation and it's definitely worth the price, I think. I think. Maybe it could be 45, not 55. So yeah, this was $55 plus tax, so I don't know. But even the bottle. Oh, the bottle. The bottle, I think, is so pretty. Like, oh and I haven't even opened the bottle because, as I said, I got the wee sample. But it comes like this. And you unscrew it, and it's like a little stick. So you just dab that in your hand or brush or whatever or even you in your face you don't even need that much like so do not get carried away but I'd say this foundation will last ages it is it's actually really heavy yeah I'd say definitely get that foundation like as I said it is very full coverage and if you're looking for full coverage get that foundation I know it is really expensive, like I can usually afford any of this makeup, it's just that it was my 18th so I did get a lot of money but if you really are dedicated and want to invest in a really good foundation I would advise that really well. So next, people are probably going to kill me here but I have never used any Anastasia products ever. And I've always wanted to try it. I obsess over the. There's an eagle outside. <laughs> I did obsess over the contour kit for ages. Like I didn't have it, but I really wanted it. Like I think, oh my god, the eagle's back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I think everybody had it or wanted it at one stage. Maybe they still do. I don't know. Like it would be nice to try, but. I'm not that into it anymore. Like I have my NYX powder palette, so yeah. My dad was yawning in the back right there. I got the Anastasia tip brow. Finally, no, I I really needed like like I used for the longest longest time um the HD brow palette, which. I don't know if that's a brand itself or what, to be honest. That's so bad not knowing, but... But no, I haven't even opened this yet because, as you can see, I got a little sample here, which it actually has so much left in it. Like, you, you literally need fuck all. So, um, yeah, it comes in like a wee thing like this. Like, I'm sure everybody's heard this or has this. Like, I know loads of girls who have this, and their brows are perfection. I have it on today. Oh god, that's horrible, right? And as you can see, well, I think it's worked well. So, god, I don't even want to touch it. Look how smooth that is. Oh, it's so smooth. Loads of girls like pencil. I personally loved the powder, but now that I've tried this, honestly, gel is so easy to use and you can just work away with it. And if you make a mistake, concealer. It's definitely worth the money. It was, to me, it was quite cheap. It was only $18 plus tax on, but I know with shipping, like I don't think, like I know with shipping, it would be a lot more, but I think it's definitely worth your money. I haven't actually tried this yet, but as I was waiting in line to exchange my two foundations, I got the, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Comes with a little packing like this. This is the travel one. You have oily skin, I have more dry skin, so I want to get the long lasting one or the all nighter one, whatever. Mine is the travel size one. I didn't actually realize until I bought it or whatever that was the travel size one, but I think it's actually quite a big bottle, so I wasn't worried. Like it was $13, $14, but like I need this. For nights out because if you're like me you get a little bit too drunk and you start crying and and you start doing stupid things like running about and rolling about 
I know I'm not the only girl who does this. I like where I live. I see the girls there. I got Kat Van D Trooper Eyeliner. And I've been hear hearing such good reviews about Kat Von D makeup products. I have loved Kat Von D from when I was like I don't even know what age. Like really young anyway, because I used to watch her tattoo shows and I used to be amazed at her work and just I just love her and her personality. Like she is an idol. <laughs> she is up there. But no, it comes in a little box like this. And it is waterproof liquid eyeliner. It is in a little tube like this. It is the trooper one. Yeah, it won't focus, great. But no, um, it has a little, like, it is a really sharp tip. So, girl, trust me, um, the first day I wore this, I went to the Magic Kingdom and the first ride we went on was that big, you know, the one with the log, like, I don't know if you have went or whatever, but there's this big ride basically with this big log and you go down the log and you get soaked. And I got soaked. I got a big splash of water in my face. And I was like, my makeup. But then, it didn't move. And I, I mean, I had big flicks that day. It didn't move. It did not move. So I really advise this, especially all you girls who like a wee cry whenever you be out. So, yeah. And this has been out, this has been out maybe two, three months, maybe even less. But da -da -da -da. It is the Alice Through the Looking Glass Disney Urban Decay palette. It comes out of the package like this. It is shiny. Do you know this reminds me of? Like, do you know things in the old movies or like even even you probably have or whatever? Like the wee things at Christmas where you look through your eye and then there's all these different things. Basically comes a little thing like this. It is by Urban DK, of course. Who else would have amazing packaging like this? No, I love Urban DK. So, if you love this palette, I'm sure you've met, watched many videos and before many videos. Oh my God, there's a little mirror. Mm. No, there's a little mirror. It says, I'm not strange, weird, odd, nor crazy. My reality is just different from yours. It's so true. That up, and that pops out mm, a little butterfly. And my makeup, seemingly. No. I actually have a phobia of butterflies. So when I opened this, I, I obviously knew what was inside, but when I opened it, it just kind of flew at me, and I was like, damn, where the fuck is the color? So there's like this little strap right here where you pull out. So I'm not going to get too much into these because I do plan to do a video like review on them myself. I have used this once and that was yesterday and it was just maybe three colours out of it and they were super pigmented so I was really impressed like I love them. I use Cake which is the pink one. But look how pretty they are. They are all based on of the characters and some are matte and some are shimmer so it was like a really good mixture and you have your bright colours and you have your also dark colours so you can make a smoky eye, you can make a colour pop out of this girl you can make anything out of this so as I said I will do a review on these and swatches in another video but they're very high in pigment so mm -hmm. I think this was $60 it is more in the UK because it's so hard to get plus they ship it over so mmm but if you like look at it it's, it's huge like this will last you for ages I'd say like I have an Urban, Urban DK palette that this is embarrassing I've had since I was like 11 and I still use it the, the, the last ages like and I think this will last ages don't fall out it is like a collector's item to be honest because it is like a limited edition range of makeup so it was like the cinderella one i really wanted the cinderella one it was in mac i think uh, but i didn't get it but 
it's totally worth your while to invest in this because if you like bright colors, you like Alice in Wonderland. What else do you want? So, I've been watching reviews after reviews with Manny NUA, Jeffree Star, anyone else on the new Anastasia palette. Or Anastasia, whatever you want to call it. It is called, I don't know what to call it, I can't pronounce it. Modern Renaissance. I can't pronounce it, but it comes in a little thing like this. You can see the colors at the back. It is like, it just reminds me of autumn. Like all the colors there. I think it'd be a really pretty palette for autumn coming. Plus it's a really pretty palette now. But wait, do you see this? It's in like a satin velvet type thing and it is honestly the prettiest packaging ever. I had an Urban Decay, or have an Urban Decay, one with this texture and it is covering makeup and all coming off. So hopefully, since I have this, I will take better care of it. Oh my god, there's a mark on it already. I literally have used... I literally have used this once, and that was today for the that bit there in my eye, just to help smoke it out. And I was shocked at how pigmented these are. Like it is crazy. I will probably do a separate review in these colors because I I will have a lot to say about this, and I will do loads of look with this. The theme of the Alice palette. I will do loads of looks with them for you guys because. A lot of my friends have requested that I do smoky looks, colour pop looks with the palettes for them because some want to actually know. Bar that one on the far end left. But like, look at them. Look at them. Oh, they're so pretty. My brush just fell. There's a blue hair. Oh, I'm just messing up the whole show, aren't I? No, like, there's so many reds it has scared a lot of people if the amount of reds are they're just like oh my god what do i do and i did question that myself but seeing watching other people do tutorials on them i have realized there is so much you can do with this palette and it is so unbelievably pretty it would be so worth your time like buying this and just with your money i thought it would be more it was only $42. That is still really pricey, but they're actually bigger than usual and it will last me a long time. Like, I'm not really that. Like, I do wear a lot of eyeshadow, but I'm not that heavy in eyeshadow. I don't know what it is. It's just, it will last you, but I will do a review on this separately and I will do looks with this. So, if you'd like to see looks in this, please comment and say so. When I was in buying the modern Renaissance Anastasia palette, I did decide to become a beauty insider. And we don't even have Sephora in the UK, but see me, there's one open in London soon enough, and I'll be going over to London soon. So fingers crossed it opens. Plus, Cat One Day is actually coming to the kingdom. I'm so excited. Every dollar you spend is every point you will get so i don't know how it works to be honest i need to look more into it but um a beauty insider i did you do have to give your name date of birth and email and since it was just pound birthday they let me they give me a free gift mm. so i got free makeup well there was a choice between a mark jacobs cleanser mark jacobs makeup and i was like makeup but <laughs> makeup this is the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. It is so cute. No, I, I put this in my hand yesterday and I sat there and scrubbed it and scrubbed it and scrubbed it. It would not come off. So I'm expecting good things from this. And the Marc Jacobs Wee Lipstick is called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. But, oh, it's just such a pretty colour. 
Let me swatch it for you guys. Oh, girl, I like that a lot. I actually am into those colors like a lot. So I probably be wearing this a lot and it would last me longer if I use a little brush. So I should be using a brush of this. I always use the same bloody goddamn benefit mascara. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get mascara. A, a few days earlier, I watched a tutorial with Jam Jimmy Genevieve, or Genevieve, oh God, I don't know your surname, so sorry, Jimmy. But no, she used this mascara that was by Tarte called Lights, Camera, Lashes. And I seen it in Sephora and I was like, girl, I need that mascara. It comes in such a cool packaging like this. I've never seen anything like this before. It reminds me of crocodile skin, like, like it's not actually made of crocodile skin, like please, like like I think all Tarte products are cruelty free. Yeah, they are. Look. Oh my god, why would you focus, little bitch? So all Tarte products are cruelty free. Even the Tarte foundations are cruelty free there's like a wee wee bunny at the side and they are cruelty free so girls you will look flawless and be cruelty free this is what it looks like and it comes in and the brush looks like this and it is such a good mascara like it was $21 and I think it is a cheap mascara I think it's cheap like I know a lot of mascaras that would cost more and I think this one is pretty cheap. It is the colour black, of course. I don't know, I just, I don't agree or like brown mascaras. Sorry, don't kill me. It doesn't clump, it doesn't, I don't even know, like, it doesn't dry like horribly. It just is a really nice, good mascara. So I definitely advise this for people who are looking for a new mascara and have no idea what to look for mascaras. This is a really good mascara. So it's called Light, Lights Camera Lashes and it's by Tarte. Basically I was trying to avoid MAC this year but I was in MAC in Disney Springs, previously down to Disney. I like that name better. But no, I was in Disney Springs and I, there was like this new Colourpop collection of MAC and I just seen this one colour and I was like, I need that colour. It was like a minty shimmery green you don't really wear it by itself but if you wanted you could i guess but i think it's for more put it on top of other colors and give it like a weird effect oh, it's just so pretty i'll do a swatch for you girl like you can't even really see it that well because this stupid lighting but it is such a pretty color it is just Erika Reflective Green, which I love this. I thought it was really new and just, like I would wear it, but it's usually not something I find and I usually be scared to wear because, whether you believe it or not, I am scared of people's opinions sometimes. Although I just say, fuck them. So yeah, next. Next is actually has such good reviews. So I decided to get the next jumbo pencil. It is just a white pencil and this is usually loose for just eyeliner under the eyes I think but I've seen and actually been a client of girls who've just coloured in the whole eyelid and put colours to make them really pop so I thought it I just thought I want that. I need that so I'm gonna get that. It was only maybe four or five dollars so I was like yep yeah. I got a whole load of NYX lip products. Got this one. I was looking for like a matte, really dark brown. Manny MUA has heard such good reviews about them. He uses them. They're just, they're fab. So this is Dubai or Duba. And it comes in a little container like this. And I shall swatch it here for you. It does have like a kind of ready tone about it, but it is such a nice lip colour, honestly. Next is another soft matte lip cream. 
it is in the shade or the well, what's it called Af Athens Athens and it's like a nudie pinky color I actually have it on me at the minute and it's just a pretty color is at the top there Sway Emprise I don't know if that's the name or what but girl it is purple and look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I can't open these because these are gifts from my friends. Basically, I got more lip creams and other matte lipsticks. And this one is Nude Peach Fuzz. It's in a little thing like this. And these ones are Perfect Red and Alabama. And they're very similar. They're just really dark deep reds. Some of these were a 10 or each and others were a 11, 10 or 5. Like they're just really good. What I still got next was this roll and shimmer. Let me show you. You cannot tell me that is not oh my god there's glitter everywhere on there. You cannot tell me that is not so I can't wait to use this. This was only like five, seven dollars. I was amazed. I was like, I'm sorry, mom. I can't stop buying makeup. I need to buy this concealer. But it, I think it is honestly. I think it's the lightest color there. Like it's really color because I like my under eyes to be really bright and popping. Because Lord knows I've got really bad. <laughs> eye creases, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. It is just like a little pot of shimmer. And these rain like five dollars. And they're just a little shimmer pot. And I should show you. There's glitter in the air everywhere. It's just at the very end there and it's just a little shimmer. I have used it on my eyelids and it has just shimmer. Moving on towards like the Target Walmart kind of section. I, whenever, there was like a like a photo shoot where I live and the girl, a girl's doing my makeup for a festival look and she is amazing at makeup. Um, anyway, she, she used e.l.f. and she said the foundation is brilliant and I was just like, really? Like I have had, I have other products from e.l.f. but I never actually tried the foundation and she put it on me and I was like this looks better than me than my MAC so I don't even know if I got the exact same but this is like a foundation serum I got this one in Target and I'm actually wearing it at the minute but basically this I am wearing the e.l.f. foundation in the colour light medium I do actually have another one of these at home. My mum has two and I use them. Of course. They are the Colour Tattoo by Ice Studio 24 Hour and they just come in a little pot like this. Mum has like a pinky one and a goldy one. This one caught my guy. So I got this one. And it's in this shade. So it's just a nice, light, really bright colour. I'm not into or else I can't afford really high-end, really expensive like 30 pound lashes. They're gonna last me maybe 15 or 10 or 15 times. Like, I know that may seem a lot, but it's actually not for the amount I would wear eyelashes. So I just got a set like this and it is by the brand Ardell. I think that's what you call them. And they just look really good to me. So I just got a packet of them and they were $11. I need a new beauty blender, so I just seen this one Target is by a, a brand called Up and Up and it is quite a hard sponge and I didn't really like that but I still have to try it. So yeah, Up and Up. Another thing by Up and Up was this brush. I don't like this handle but it was a cheap brush so where can you really go wrong with this brush like apart from the handle like it is quite a big large hard handle which I don't partially like myself but I haven't tried it yet but I will tell you what I think of it when I use it for by e.l.f. I needed more eyeshadow brushes and honestly these are superb at blending like they are by e.l.f. 
Why would this focus? <laughs> right. Whatever. You can believe it's by Alf or not. Who cares? But it is by Alf and they are superb at blending. I have seen loads of people using these. Okay. I have seen loads of people using these to apply eyeliner. It's been quite good. So I decided I'm going to try it. Contour stick, would you call it? By Maybelline and it's in the brand Fit Me. And it is in the colour coconut. It comes out like this. I have used it once and it went quite patchy me but maybe I didn't apply it right maybe I don't know but I plan to try and use it again the only reason I got this was to try it out it was I think seven dollars but I just wanted to try it out and see how it would go my skin because I do want to try a creamier contour not just powder or metal else cream and then powder but I do want to try and use this again, so we'll just see how it goes. I got the Sonia Kashuk brushes. And they are honestly so pretty. Like, my mum said that she is such a good brand, and the UK actually sell these for like 30 something dollars or 30 pounds or so each for the makeup brushes. And this set was $21. And just look at them like I haven't tried them yet but I have put them like brush on my face because I just love doing that and on my arms and they are so soft but also just look at them they're so pretty and they're limited edition ones I just can't wait to use these and I shall give you I will obviously include these in my tutorials and I will get, keep you the guys updated whether or not these are a good brand or not to buy this was my Sephora and other brands haul, so I hope you enjoy it and I hope you will stay tuned in to my channel to see me do reviews and makeup looks with the Alice Looking Glass palette and the new Anastasia palette. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel, it would mean the world to me and thank you for watching. Hey! And as more fluffy top and whatever. Now you will focus on me. That's right. Had a moment there. Um this is another this music is still I don't know if that's an ice cream truck or that's just some dude being like, fuck yeah, let's just smash this. <laughs>